Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we're off to a township called Shelford. Shelford is a country township in Victoria, Australia. The township is in the Golden Plains Shire near the regional city of Geelong, some 42 kilometers or 26 miles away and 106 kilometers or 66 miles west of the state capital, Melbourne. Shelford is nestled in a valley divided by the Lee River, Gulf Hill Station and was established in 1836 on the riverbanks. Most of the local settlers, squatters, came from Scotland so the town had a strong Presbyterian mindset and had two churches. The post office opened on the 1st of July 1847 as the Lee and was renamed Shelford in 1854. By 1865, the town had a courthouse, post office, a mechanics institute, and two hotels. In 1874, the Shelford Bridge was constructed using iron imported from Liverpool, England. The town was never large. In the 1930s, the town had a population of 130 persons. After the Second World War, the large land holdings was carved up for a soldier's settlement scheme. 69 farms covering 45,000 acres were sold off to returning servicemen and their families. In 1994, the post office became a licensed post office and has since closed. The date of closure is unknown. Shelford today still has a recreation reserve where the Shelford Cricket Club play their home games and the recreation reserve have tennis courts as well. Shelford also has a primary school and a town hall. Further development of the town is restricted by the fact the town lacks a retriculated sewerage system. So without further ado, let's check out the township of Shelford.
So over here we have, on the right hand side, or centre right, the Iron Bridge of Shelford. The Iron Bridge over the Lee River at Shelford was erected in 1873-74 by the Shire of Lee, replacing an earlier timber structure of 1851. The structure, which consists of two continuous hollow wrought iron girders over three spans and supported on iron rollers attached to the bluestone piers and abutments, was designed by the Shire engineer C.A.C. Wilson and fabricated on site from components cast by Ballarat founder John Price. The Iron Bridge of Shelford has been superseded with the construction of a new concrete bridge adjacent to the original structure. The bridge has been partially restored and used to carry light traffic like pedestrians, bicycles and mobility scooters. Now here we have just slightly west of the Shire Hall and the Pine Bridge is their historic marker and as you can see it has two picnic tables. It's off the main road so it's great for people with camper vans or like myself on a motorbike or you just need a break from where you're travelling from and to and it gives you the opportunity to also take in some more history of the township of Shelford. Here we have next is the Primitive Methodist Church, well over 100 years old. It is in private hands and there are signs not to trespass, which I won't, 
but I'll also uh, just encircle the area from the boundary to give you an idea of what it looks like and it appears to be in excellent order. Here we now are at the Shelford Presbyterian Church. The Shelford Presbyterian Church was built using bluestone for the walls and slate for the roofing in the Victorian early English Gothic style dominated by a western centrally placed tower in 1859. The church was erected on land either part of the estate Gulf Hill or donated to the church by the property owner, George Russell of Gulf Hill. Here we are now at the Shelford Primary School. The Shelford Primary School probably started off as a Presbyterian school that operated at Shelford before the 1850s. Certainly a denominational school was established from the 1st of July 1853 on the present site in a wooden building that survived more than 30 years. Shelford then was called Lee the head teacher in 1853, a Patrick Collins, served until the end of 1854. The longest serving head teacher was a George Hunt, who stayed from 1861 until 1885. In this time, the present Bluestone building was erected in 1866. 
when the school was taken over by the department and Hunt remained in charge. The church sold the site to the department at the end of 1873. Hunt's successor, a J. H. Etheris, had a notable career in the department, retiring as assistant chief inspector of schools in the 1920s. Pythoros had charge until 1891. He was the last teacher to use the original wooden building, which was demolished in 1887 after serving as an infant's room. Although the township was by this time known as Shelford, the school's name was not changed to Shelford until 1908. After the Second World War, closer settlement caused such a rise in population as to warrant a second classroom. This was built in 1966, but population fell from 47 pupils to an enrolment in the 20s. This gave rise to concern for the future of the Bluestone Building, which, because of its obvious beginnings as a church structure, is of no little interest, and steps were being taken to preserve it as you see it today. So now that I've spent the whole morning in Shelford, uh, it's time for lunch. So the, the goal here is basically to find the closest hotel or pub uh, to this vicinity. And normally I would have uh, liked to have eaten within the, the town that I'm viewing, but Shelford doesn't have a, a, a pub or a hotel, but hopefully that'll change in the future. So here we are at Bannockburn, uh, it's the Railway Hotel and this is where I'll stop and grab that lunch before heading home. So here we are near the end of this video or presentation of Shelford. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did give us that thumbs up and please subscribe. Subscribing doesn't cost one cent, uh, it really does help with the algorithms and this channel immensely. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe and have a great day.